Uh, what's going on, Commissioner? A uh, whole lot. How about yourself? Uh, pretty good. Morning was uh, very interesting. Oh, okay. you know, feeling we'll have to talk about it. Hey, Roy, how's it going? All right, listen the fuck good. up. Come on Whatever. now. You late? And then you're going to go here and have a social call? Exactly, Roy. Cut it out. Apologies, sir. My apologies. My God, I bet you was late coming out of your mama's womb. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir, I would. Yes, yes, sir. Oh. Well, that ain't no surprise to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk real quick. First of all, first thing you need to know, penal code is being adjusted right now. You will see live changes to the penal code, so make sure you are looking twice, maybe even three times when you're processing someone because things could be changing. Um, number two, uh, price of gun licenses has gone down drastically, so you may see a slow increase in the amount of violence or violent crimes happening in town. So just, just keep your awareness up for that. Number three. What? Go ahead. Uh, how, how much is drastic? It was 3500 when I asked somebody how much a handgun. $500. Handgun Five, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, that that's a big, a big change. change. Um, next up, uh, you may see encrypted radios out on the street. If you see those, let me know immediately or the sergeant or the chief or... What the hell is your rank, Knox? I can't even remember. Captain? Janitor? The janitor. Let him know as well. Um, next thing I have for y'all is we've had an issue with officers starting to um, walk through the halls like a gaggle of high school students complaining about things. And I caught it a couple of times yesterday, and I chewed people's asses out about it. Don't do it. Do not do it. This Wait, ain't what did he say? High school. Don't Chat, go what through the it? halls bitching about your commanding officers and your coworkers, oh. or my foot will be up your ass. But first, before that happens, I want you to look at this beautiful specimen over here. This here. No, not you, you son of a. Listen, this over here is Jack's Lane. All right, now Jack. Lane, I want you to tell the class what actually give an example of what's gonna happen. Uh, use Tinker as an example. Tinker, step up. What's gonna happen if we catch it? Okay. Mm. God, I really got a lot excited of for this. Tinker's now. a great punching God. bag. Mm. Yeah, you do, you do. I Shut your fucking mouth, Officer Tinker. Shut the fuck up. You know what? Matter of fact, matter of fact, go ahead. Leave the room. Leave the room. Go run to the right other now? side upstairs right now. Let's go. Me and you. Go. Come on. Run. Run. Move your ass. Move your ass. Move. Move your motherfucking ass all the way to the other side of the room. He managed to uh, touch a tit for the first time before uh, Tsunami. He, he did what? Uh, Grabbed a tit. <clears throat> Tinker did? Yep. Passed out and to bring him down to the hospital. This leads me to my next comment. We are going to work with DOJ to get them up and going as soon as possible so that we can <laughs> hire representation from the police department <laughs> for issues such as this. <laughs> yep. Yep. Probably not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, issues such as what, though? Uh, never mind. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> God damn it. What is wrong with Tinker? You got one leg and I'm still beating you over here. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll beat you over here. Okay, so go back down. Get back down. Back on your face. Back on your face. Push us. Push, push, push. Right now. Down. 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 One, two, three. One. No. One, two. Okay, you don't want to count. Stand up. Stand up. Right now. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Okay, do it again. Down. 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 Okay. Go back down. Go back down. Down. Take it down. Say yes, stand on some two, three, shit. Three, yes, stand on one. some shit. One, okay. Two, okay. Three, back up. Back up. You still not getting it. You don't understand what's going on, do you? No. Come on. Down. down. Back down. Back down. Yes, stand on some shit. Act like you're a fucking police officer. Yes, okay, sir. thank you, officer. Thank you. Yeah, she bad to think of the <laughs> seven months. I don't want to talk sadly about the PD anymore. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, let that be your example right there. Don't be a tinker. All right? Now, <laughs> with that all being said, I will hand off for any notes from our uh, chief. All right. <laughs> all right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
earlier this shift, uh, things have been rather hectic on the streets. Uh, we got clowns chasing pimps. We got fake hostages. We got people calling 911 uh, into their own store robberies. Uh, it can get hectic out there, especially as we build up our numbers. Um, but there's one thing that I want us all to remember and focus on. Uh, people are trying to establish themselves. We just got done with a massive economic collapse. And there may be uh, individuals that are want to make their own life easy by stealing, stealing from others, stealing from stores and whatnot. And we are presented with two options. We can come in there screaming, guns a-blazing, throw them into cuffs, and let the DOC handle it. Or alternatively, uh, we can take a different approach, the one that I much uh, more prefer. And that is lean on the expectation of compliance. Now, what does that mean? You see someone sticking their hand inside of a, a post box. You may know deep down inside you that they may be trying to steal mail. But if they're, if you're able to approach those individuals, speak to them, and they comply, you have the discretion to let them go about their way, direct them towards getting a job and whatnot. If you sue two individuals in uh, aggressively going at it, and you're able to break up that uh, that fight and get those two to shake hands and at least promise to you that they'll, you know, chill the fuck out, you are going to, uh, this entire department's going to uh, get the rewards paid in dividends. The reason is very simple. If the, the public garners trust in us, garners trust that, when we pull them over, that will give them a conversation and fair shake. We are going to be um, dealing with a populace that is less likely to run away simply by seeing us. Less likely to pull out their guns down the line. You heard this. The weapons licenses are getting cheap. Are less likely to pull out their guns and start opening fire on us um, instead of, you know, allowing us the opportunity to properly investigate things through. Does, does my mentality makes sense here if you have any questions yeah, sure. please please raise your hand like uh if there's any confusion now uh it's early yeah go ahead yeah sure i i encountered a man uh, who was uh seemed uh, very very uh how do i say he was a drunkard mm. and uh he was uh he was operating a motor vehicle but uh he wasn't he was at like a point like, 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 right before point eight zero. You know, like, like, not. Mm. I don't even think there was a number between the two. Really, it was maybe right. like a fraction. So he's getting close to like DUI levels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was ridiculous. And uh, we brought him out in the cub. We tried to talk to him. Um, and then the man proceeded to drink more vodka in front of us. Now, is this somebody we should take to the rehabilitation center? Or is this somebody that we should uh, we should bring into the sales and uh, maybe in the drunk? I, I would say the uh, well. So um, I don't think uh, I'll have to take a look. I don't think we actually have a stated legal limit. Uh, 0.08 is what it is is uh, across the country. But let's say we were to go with that, right? Um, that individual, that drunker, trying to understand why he's drunk in the first place and try to direct him in the right direction to maybe turn his life around is the option that you should have at the forefront of your mind, right? Yeah. Um, who knows uh, why he was put in that circumstance? Remember, our, our job for protecting and serving goes well beyond just arresting individuals and throwing them in the cells. It's that people are going to turn to us to, um, are going to turn to us for help. And sometimes that might mean somebody that simply needed to hear that, <clears throat> alcohol isn't the way and that there are other options and that the path that they're down is not the only path that they need to take in life right i'm not saying that you need to be individual psychiatrists or or their like best friend but rather they should see us as a uh a beacon uh, of trust <clears throat> like dog the bounty hunter um i don't watch a dog too much but well, he, he he does that same thing. I I, I hear what you're mm -hmm. saying. So yes, sir. Yeah. Um. 
I, the second thing I want to make note of is um, we spoke about this uh, two days ago in which uh, there was references to um, gangs operating, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and uh, I put a stop to that very quickly. And I want to sort of expand on the mentality of why that uh, statement was made. There are, as we're in this rebuilding phase, um, there's a lot of people that are just simply on the wrong path in life. And there's going to be pr plenty of opportunity uh, for us to crack down on some serious crimes. But right now is not that time. Um, you may get an inkling in the back of your mind where you want to solve every mystery, every, you know, what, what's going on with all these ATM calls. Um, what are people using to, to what, what are they doing inside of these store robberies where the, the silent, um, you know, alarm is going off? I don't think these are the things that any of us should focus on at this time. The focus right now is squarely on public safety. If we can show our presence, if we can get people to comply, uh, and our escalation is primarily in cases where there is an actual victim, that is the only thing uh, the focus should be on. And for those who are interested in digging into uh, gangs and into uh, what toolings and what sort of um, crimes are taking place, how they're taking place, there'll be plenty of time for that. And uh, when it is time, you'll be collectively notified. Um, any questions in regards to that latter point? Okay. Beautiful. All right. Fantastic. All right. Thank you. All right. Anything else from the rest of the command? Nothing for me. Yeah. I got one one thing. Okay, sit up straight. Look at me. Listen. Listen. There's a lot of talk about everybody having some shit comms when we ain't around. Okay? I shouldn't have to hold your fucking hand or your fellow officer's fucking hand for them to have good communications. I shouldn't have to be around. Captain shouldn't have to be around. Chief shouldn't have to be around. Commissioner shouldn't have to be around. You are all police officers which means you police the public so why the fuck can't you police one another in a constructive manner hold each other accountable if somebody is dog shit on the radio call their cell phone and say hey this is a little too much you're getting you're getting too out there don't don't just tell them to shut the fuck up and start trying to big dick one another but have a constructive conversation with that person and correct them i don't have to do that you can do that for one another hold each other accountable everybody got that yes yeah, stop talking okay thank you if no other command has anything and i don't believe you do do you guys no i don't have a good shift be safe that's it all right get out of here <clears throat> all right let me uh get you here for a second matt mm -hmm. are you going are you going on patrol yeah um we got work being done in here uh, with contractors that